Hi again, my name is Chelsea and I'm both a librarian and a yoga instructor here at Rock. Welcome to another library yoga session. This is a bit of an unconventional study break that we can take through the course of our day. I don't know about you, but a new year getting back to our studies and our work, I really, really feel the effect of sitting at my computer for a long stretch of time. And I find a little bit of stretching, a little bit of mindful movement can really help me focus more and feel a little more energized and sort of carry through the day with a little bit um, better, a little more energy. Now, I find returning after maybe being away for quite some time, often the effects of sitting are what we feel the most. So today we're gonna focus on stretching out through the back body, the legs, the hips, all the things that seem to get really, really tight when we spend a long time sitting at our desks, at our computers, or maybe hunching over our books. So to go ahead and get started today, you can start either seated in a chair, you can be seated on the floor, or you can even be standing, whatever suits you best. If you're seated in a chair, I'll ask that you sit towards the edge of your seat so that you can sit up nice and tall with your feet underneath, uh, your, your ankles directly aligned underneath your knees. And wherever you are, standing, sitting, we'll go ahead and take the shoulders back and really lift up through the crown of the head so we can be nice and tall in our posture. I'll invite you now to either gently lower your gaze down towards the ground, or maybe if you feel comfortable, closing your eyes for a moment, just to check in and notice how you're feeling. Notice how your body feels as it settles into this posture. If there are any areas of tension or tightness, maybe any small movements you can make to get a little more comfortable here. And just observing how you feel physically. From the sensations in the body, bring your attention to your breath. Noticing how it's moving, if it's fast or slow, if it's deep or shallow, and where you feel it the most. Maybe rising and falling in the belly, maybe up in the chest, maybe you just feel it moving in and out through the nose. There's no need to change the breath here. Just stay with it. Notice how it feels. And then from your breath, notice how your mind is moving. Notice if your thoughts started racing away from your breath, maybe paying attention to where your thoughts wandered off to, if they're racing around, if there are any strong feelings attached to them, or maybe it's lunchtime and there's not all that much going on right now. Totally fine either way. There's no judgment here. Just observe. And then gradually bring the attention back to the breath. We're going to take three nice deep breaths in together. We'll breathe in through the nose and sigh it out nice and long. So if you're with me, we'll take a nice deep breath in, breathing down deep into the belly, feeling the chest rise. And exhale, sigh it out. We'll do two more like that. Inhale nice and deep down into the belly, feeling the belly fill, the chest fill. And then sigh it out, feeling the shoulders soften down and everything settle. One more time, a nice deep breath in. And with a sigh, allow it all to settle and gently blink the eyes open if they were closed and we'll go ahead and get moving. All right, so either seated on the floor in a chair or standing, we're gonna start with some body circles. So we'll sit up nice and tall or stand up nice and tall with an inhale and on the exhale, start to circle either your shoulders down to the right and down to the front, over to the left, 
and back up, continuing that circular motion. Or if you're standing, you can move your hips around. So we're approaching the, mo the movement, oh my goodness, from a bit of a different perspective. So it's like you're making a nice big hula hoop motion with your hips. So whichever form of motion you choose, try to sync up with your breath. So maybe as you move in one direction, you're exhaling, and as you move in another, you're inhaling. Trying to keep the movement nice and slow, the breath nice and easy. And if you're circling from a seated position, maybe invite the head, neck, and shoulders to soften here as you start to circle around. And if you think this might look a little funny, no worries, no one can see you. Everyone's only seeing me, so <laughs> I'm the only one who really needs to be aware of that, but that's all okay. Wherever you are, we'll start to fold forwards and pause here. So if you're standing, you can keep a nice soft bend in your knees and just allow your body to round forwards a little bit. If you're seated, you can keep your hands on your knees, maybe drop your hands down to the floor. Take a nice deep breath into your back body. Feel your back ribs expand as you inhale and soften as you exhale, starting to roll your way all the way up, shoulders rolling up before the head lifts. Nice. From here, we're gonna reach that left arm all the way up towards the sky and exhale, arc over towards the right. So you can use your hand on your thigh or maybe the side of your leg or your chair maybe, the floor, to support you as you arc over towards the side. Try to keep your chest rotating open here and keeping an even weight in your hips or in your feet if you're standing. Breathing nice and long, stretching through the side body. Take one more inhale and exhale, we'll come on up and we'll cross the left hand over towards the right knee or if you're standing, bring it over towards your right hip. We're gonna make our way into a twist here. So standing, you can bring your right hand now behind you towards your lower back or if you're seated, you can just gently bring your right hand either to the back of your seat or the floor. With an inhale, we straighten the spine, lengthen, and exhale, twist towards the right, taking the gaze back towards the right shoulder, engaging the spine in all possible ranges of motion today, really trying to stretch out what might be getting a little stiff as we spend more time at our desks these days. We'll take one more inhale here and then we'll hold this twist, but gently take our gaze towards the front, towards that left shoulder. Gently bow the chin down towards the left shoulder and you'll feel that nice stretch in behind the right side of the neck, maybe in behind the right shoulder blade. Take one more deep breath in here and exhale. We'll unravel and release. Nice. We'll go ahead and do this on the opposite side. So if you remember the direction that we were circling in the first time around, we're gonna do the opposite. So for me, I started by circling towards the right. This time I'm going to start by circling towards the left. So you can do this with your shoulders if you're seated, circling around, or if you're standing, you can circle around with your hips. So we have that nice hula hooping motion going on again as well. Invite your body to soften through the movement here and maybe sink up with your breath. Inhaling as you move one way and exhaling as you move another. Maybe inviting the head, neck and shoulders to soften into the movement. Taking one more complete circle around and then we'll gently fold forwards, either standing or seated allowing the body to softly round forwards, keeping the knees bent, taking that nice deep breath into the back body, feeling it expand, and exhaling, feeling it sink down as we slowly roll our way all the way back up. 
We'll come into our side stretch on the other side, reaching that right arm all the way up. We can take the left hand either to the top of the left leg, maybe the, the hip, the side of the leg, the chair, the floor, whatever you need to support you, and we'll arc over towards the left, trying to either root down evenly through both hips if we're seated or through both feet if we're standing, so we're not shifting all the weight to one side. Rotating the chest open and really reaching with those right fingertips. We'll take another nice deep breath in here and then exhale, we'll come on up and we'll come into our twist, bringing that right hand to the left knee and the left hand either behind you on your seat or the floor. Or if you're standing, we can bring that right hand to the left hip and circle that left hand around onto the lower back. Take a nice deep breath in, we'll lengthen, and exhale, twist towards the left, taking the gaze back towards the left shoulder. And now we really wanna be driving the twist with the muscles in our torso. So especially in these standing versions, you'll really feel your core engaged here. This is good, we don't wanna be cranking around with our arms, forcing ourselves into any particular kind of shape. Yoga isn't really about the shape. <laughs> We're all looking for the same experience and that'll look a little bit different from person to person. What's most important here is to keep your focus on your breath. We'll take one more deep breath in and then as you exhale, hold the twist, but we'll take the gaze to the front, gently bowing the chin down towards that right shoulder. Take one more deep breath in here and exhale, we'll unravel. Take a moment just to observe how your body is feeling after you've been sort of wringing out your spine in a few different directions. And then with a nice inhale, again, either seated or standing, we'll reach the arms all the way up towards the ceiling, interlace the palms and reach up with the palms, lifting up out of the waist as high as you can. And then as you exhale, we release the hands and circle them as wide as we can, all the way back and down. Nice and smooth, we're gonna do that one more time. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up, flip the palms up, maybe take the gaze a little up if that feels good. And exhale, circle around and down. And now you can bring your hands either to your hips or maybe even the back of your chair if you're seated on the chair or at the floor. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other. And from here with this engagement, gently nod your head a little yes. And then a little no. Getting a bit of a stretch, a bit of engagement through the neck and the upper back. We'll go ahead and release. One more time, reach the arms all the way up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, we'll bring the hands to the back of the head, opening the elbows nice and wide. With an inhale, engage your core. So you're pulling your belly button in towards your spine here. Take the gaze slightly up. And exhale, we're gonna round it back, bringing the elbows in towards each other as we tuck the chin towards the chest. Inhale, we open it up opening the elbows, lifting the gaze. Exhale, we round it back, tucking the chin. One more in the seated or standing variation of cat-cow. And exhale, we round it in and slowly release the hands and we roll our way up. Wonderful. Now we're going to come into a standing sequence. I will show some seated variations, but for most of the following postures, um, I do think if possible, you'll get the most out of it from standing. So if you're coming from seated, we'll place our feet underneath our knees and prepare ourselves to lift up into chair pose. If you're standing, you can do the same thing, just kind of in reverse. From seated, we'll lift on up, pressing into the heels so we can hover above our chair. If you're standing, you want to lower yourself down as if you're about to sit in a chair. Pause here for a moment. This is a very intense pose. 
In Sanskrit, it's called Utkatasana, which is often translated as fierce pose. And I like to think it's called fierce pose because you feel really fierce when you've held it for quite some time. We won't be here for that much longer. We'll hold for three, two, one, and slowly make our way all the way up to standing. So we started to get some fire going into the legs here. If you have a chair, we can go ahead and move that off to the side a little bit here. You might want it for balance in a few moments. But we'll start just by coming into our mountain pose. Our feet are underneath our hips, shoulders are back, reaching the fingers down towards the ground and lifting up through the crown of the head. Take a nice deep breath in here, feeling the breath expand in the belly, the chest, and sigh it out. With a nice deep breath in, we'll reach the arms all the way up, lifting up out of the waist. And exhale, we're going to bend the knees as we fold forwards, coming into a nice soft forward fold. Feel free to pedal the knees a little bit here. And if this is feeling like a lot, we can do this from seated as well. You can just extend your legs out and fold forwards over your legs. Regardless of where you are, find some stillness with your legs, keeping a nice soft bend in the knees. We don't need to strain or push in this class. We really want to try to just loosen everything up, invite everything to relax a little bit during the day. Maybe take a moment to hold on to opposite elbows, allowing the body to ragdoll forwards. Maybe taking a gentle sway from one side to the other. Maybe inviting the head to shake a little yes and a little no. Allowing gravity to open up through the spine just a little bit more. Releasing the hands back to the floor. We'll bring the hands to the shins or the thighs to lift up halfway. So we're gonna try to lengthen our spine parallel to the floor here. Take a nice deep breath in, feel the back body engage here. So we've been stretching, we're also strengthening. And then exhale, we'll fold down one more time, just for a moment. On your next inhale, bend your knees, press into your heels. We'll reach the arms all the way forwards and up. And exhale, circle our arms around and back down, coming back to our mountain pose. Very nice. From here, we're going to start by shifting our weight onto our left foot. We're coming into a bit of a standing sequence. Now, again, if any of this feels really challenging, I will show you a seated variation in just a moment. But we'll start by shifting the weight to our left foot, and we'll start to pick that right knee up off the floor. We're going to draw a nice big circle with the knee, nice and slow and controlled mindfully moving, maybe inhaling as we take the knee up and exhaling as we take the knee down. And of course, you can have your chair handy here for some extra balance, maybe use a wall or another piece of furniture around you. If you'd like to do this from seated, I suggest you shift over towards the right side of your chair and then holding onto the chair for a little bit of balance, you can start to pick up your right knee and just draw some circles from seated. So we're engaging the muscles in the leg, starting to open up the hip flexor. These are some things that can get really, really tight when we spend a lot of time sitting in a chair. Now, wherever you are, we'll start to bring the knee back towards the front. And with both hands, we'll hug the knee in towards the chest. So we're getting a bit of another stretch through the back of the leg. And of course, this will depend on the clothing that you're wearing today, what you're capable of doing. I design these classes to be done really in any kind of clothing. But of course, working from home, perhaps like me, you're wearing some comfier pants today. So maybe you're capable of stretching a little deeper today. For any more advanced practitioners out there, if you would like to take the full expression of the pose, you can extend your leg out, but please work within your own range of motion. I don't want anyone to be straining too much today. Getting that nice stretch through the back of the leg. And then with either your leg stretched out or bent, we're gonna take that knee out to the side and then gently make our way towards tree pose. 
So if you want to come straight to tree pose, if you're familiar, you can go ahead and do so. Otherwise, everyone will lower that right foot down, maybe shake out the hips a little bit, have a mini dance party. And then we'll go ahead and bring either the right ankle to the, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm getting all my directions mixed up, mixed up today. Bringing the right foot to either the left ankle, the calf, or the thigh, depending on what feels good to you, what your clothing allows today. The only place we don't want the foot is on the knee because we don't really want to push the knee joint sideways. It's not meant to go that way. Wherever you are, you can use your chair for some balance. Maybe reaching the arms up towards the sky as you think about opening your hip away from you. Now, if you're doing this from seated, there is an option here for you as well. We took our knee out to the side. You can then bring your right toes down to the floor opening your knee out towards the side. If you have some books or maybe some yoga blocks, you can always put your right toes on the blocks and continue opening your knee out to the side. Wherever you are, we'll take one more deep breath in and exhale, go ahead and gently lower it down. We can shake things out a little bit and we'll go ahead and do that on the other side. So shifting the weight to the right foot, or maybe shifting over to the other side of your chair. We'll start by drawing some nice big circles with the knee. Maybe notice how your balance is feeling. Notice how your breath is moving. Have you lost track of your breath? Maybe we can start to bring some more focus to the breath here, inhaling up and exhaling down. I always like to say in my yoga classes that without focus on the breath, yoga is really just a bunch of gymnastics. So really, the breath is really, really important here. Wherever you are, we'll take the knee towards the front, holding on to the knee, maybe hugging it in nice and close. For any more advanced practitioners out there, if it's in your practice, you can reach for your toes and extend your leg out nice and long. Maybe we start to bend the knee, we open it out to the side, bit of a different angle. Maybe we're able to extend that leg out to the side. And the ability to do that really changes from day to day. My balance feels a little iffy today. <laughs> and I know my clothes wouldn't always allow it. So it's totally up to you what you feel comfortable doing today. And then we'll slowly transition into our tree pose, bending the knee, taking the sole of the foot to the leg, or maybe we lower all the way down to the ground, shake out the hips a little bit first, and then bring the sole of the left foot to the ankle, the calf, or the thigh. And of course, doing this from a seated position is available to you as well. Opening that leg out to the side, maybe holding on to the chair or a wall for a little bit of extra support. Maybe reaching the arms up and finding a spot in front of you that isn't moving to anchor your focus on trying to maintain that steady breath, that easy breath, even when the body is in an unusual shape and exerting a fair bit of effort to stay there. If you can breathe easy in tree pose, I stand by, you can breathe easy doing just about anything. Take one more inhale and exhale. We'll slowly release, lower the hands, shake out the legs, and we'll make our way back towards a seated position. So this can be a chair or the floor. If you would like, you're welcome to make your way through chair pose first, lowering yourself to hover just above your seat for one added challenge here. And I'll say, if you feel this at all in your lower back, Maybe be cautious if you're sort of sticking your bum out too much. If you start to tuck your tailbone under, it might relieve a little bit of the tension there. We'll hold for three, two, one, and then gently lower to your seat or slowly make your way down towards the floor. Wonderful. We have one more stretch we're gonna do here to round off our practice today. We're gonna go ahead and seated in our chair or on the floor, I'll show you both variations. We're gonna go ahead and 
cross that right ankle across the left thigh. So seated in a chair, it looks like you're just crossing your legs. If you're seated on the floor, you can extend your feet out in front of you and either lying back all the way or supporting yourself with your hands, you can extend your left leg, cross your right ankle on top and gently bend your left knee, sliding your foot in towards you. Wherever you are, you wanna be flexing your right foot a fair bit. And if you're seated in a chair, start by sitting nice and tall and then maybe hinge forward slightly. You'll start to feel that stretch in your glute and your hip. And this is one of those stretches that can often feel really, really good if your lower back has been feeling a little tight too, if you've been sitting for a fair bit of time. A lot of tightness in the hips translates to tightness in the lower back. Wherever you are, we'll take one more inhale and exhale, we'll ease on out and we'll just go ahead and switch sides. So crossing that left ankle across the right thigh, either seated on the floor or in the chair, lengthening and then either from seated in the chair, lowering forwards or if you're on the floor, drawing that right knee a little closer in towards you, sliding your foot along the floor. Notice if it feels a little different from one side to the other. Take a nice deep breath, maybe sigh it out. Take one more inhale and exhale. We'll ease out and we'll return to a nice comfortable seat. So this can be in our chair or on the floor. Take a moment maybe to knock your knees from one side to the other, allow things to loosen just a little bit. And then finding our way back to a nice still posture, any comfortable seated position that feels good, we'll take the shoulders back and gently soften the gaze down to the floor or close the eyes. Taking a moment to check in observing how the body feels as it settles into this posture. Noticing if there are any areas of tension or tightness, any small movements that can be made to be a little more comfortable. And then from the body, bring the attention to the breath, noticing how the breath is moving, if it's fast or slow, if it's deep or shallow. And then from the breath, bringing the attention to how the mind is moving. Noticing if there are any thoughts that are racing around, if there are any strong feelings attached, and noticing how you feel as a whole, your body, your breath, and your mind right now compared to how you felt at the very beginning. We'll take a nice deep breath in, bringing the palms together. And exhale with a sigh, bowing the head forwards in gratitude for this time that we've taken together today. We'll slowly open our eyes and I'll say thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this library yoga session and I hope to see you next time.